Hi everybody, my name is Geoffrey and today I'm going to talk about the Solid Doodle Press, which is right there. And so far I'm very quite happy about these printers, but at the beginning I had a lot of trouble with. And today I'm just going to talk about all the problems that you can possibly have with a Solid Doodle Press at the very beginning and how to solve them. So let's go! So this is the Solid Doodle Press come from Solid Doodle, of course, and I'm quite happy with this printer right now. It's a printer about $600 and able to print objects from 20 by 20 by 20 centimeters, so it's already kind of quite a large volume, and I did use a printer quite a lot recently. That's all the print I did the three last days, I mean, either it's white ABS or transparent ABS. But uh, when I got the printers, I had to fix some uh, problem and I'm going to show you one of the first problem that you can get this cable right here and you have to attach this cable uh, personally I use uh, rubber band it's a YouTube video that show me that and it actually works very very well because it's very important that this cable is gets I mean, stuck here otherwise it might just uh, get squeezed between the axis and uh, the frame during the calibration and that's very bad of course because uh, if this cable gets stuck between the axis and the frame they can't hit the switch that means the printer doesn't know that it reach home and that means of course a very weird noise but I guarantee you that this small rubber band is going to solve all your problem about that so the second problem I got with the side of the press was with drive gears. So that means the gears pushing the filament through the extruders. The driving gears here. And if you have a look on the motor shaft, then you have a flat side. And this flat side is made actually to fit the screw on the drive gears. So if you have a close look on the drive gears, then you have a screw here. And inside, uh, you can see the screw is getting in. And actually, then this screw has to be not too tight because otherwise it can be a problem for the motor shaft, or not too loose otherwise the drive gear is not uh, pushing by the motor shaft. So uh, the problem is this screw was keeping unscrewing all the time during my print, meaning that during the middle of the print, after one or two hours. Uh, the filament was not pushed in the, the extruder anymore because the drive gear was just spinning around the motor shaft because this screw here was unscrewed. So actually I just uh, fixed and fit the screw in such a way that it's not too tight and not too loose and I glue it. So the third problem I got with my 3D printers was actually then the filament get stuck uh, in the extruder even though my uh, drive gear was uh, tight and working normally and so I contacted uh, Solid Doodle and they told me that actually it could be because the fan is not mounted in the right direction so the fan should blow air from this side through the reactor to cool down the drive gear and the filament because if your filament is not cooled down during the printer Actually, your filament getting soft and can just be uh, smashed inside. It's I mean, just grind by the drive gears and it's not pushing, pushed down anymore. Uh, so actually, I had to unscrew this two screw here, flip uh, upside down more or less the fan, and now uh, the fan is blowing air through the, the extruder. So the filament is cooled down during the print and it's not getting stuck anymore uh, in the extruder. So the fourth problem, and I think it's a kind of very common problem for all kind of 3D printing with ABS, so it's nothing about solid doodle press itself. Actually, the solid doodle press comes with a glass bed and you can just get in and get out. And it's nicely coated with air spray, but I had a very bad idea to clean it. And uh, so, of course, my ABS film was not sticking on the, the bed anymore. So, actually, I did use uh, this air spray 
to put a nice coating of hairspray on the, the print and know it's work perfectly. So last but not least, as you can see, it's not the official solid doodle filament that I have in my printer, but verbatim ABS filament. And it fits perfectly the printer, so it's not a problem at all to buy it. The only thing you have to do when you buy it, so I have a second spool here, then it's no problem with the front of the spool, but uh, what you have to do is, at least on one side, you have to cut uh, the spool uh, to make the diameter larger at the bottom. So to sum up everything, the solid dollar press is a nice printer, and if you have the same problem I did add, uh, as you can see, it's really easy to solve them in. So I hope that this video helped you, and uh, thanks for watching.